Okay, let's shoot a small video on the P17. I am relatively new to this, but my gunsmith is not. He's happy I'm getting back to pump guns, and so am I. I, I prefer to stay there, honestly. And I want to give a special thanks to what I consider one of the white knights on YouTube is Airgun Fun. He's very passionate about this platform. And also Pyramid Air and 45 Bravo. I will always credit people who I got information from. That's always the right thing to do. So anyway, so let's begin. And we're going to concentrate on the pump tube and cleaning the gun. Now this looks like Excalibur. This looks great. And so what we want to do... Let's talk about what it was like when I first started. I had to get these wonderful blue towels from the auto store. They're industrial. This is the ones you want to use, not the ones that you use for your counter. Those are not ideal. These things are tougher and softer. So all the metal you see, I went ahead and I cleaned that all up. These Chinese guns tend to come from the factory very dirty. This one's obviously looks very good. And we're going to concentrate just on the pump and some things you need to know about this gun. So let's go ahead and pull in. Now that right there is a tension screw. Now you don't need to take that all the way out. You just need to loosen it. it the original German version, this Chinese version, it's designed to make sure your retaining pin doesn't work out. Okay. So then we just put in our hex in there. And then one. Okay. And, and two, and that's it. That's all you need to do. And then you begin the pounding process, okay? And so for that, I go ahead and we go right to left. So on this product, we're coming from this side out. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and set that down. And we just give it a couple of taps. Again, make sure to always loosen that tension screw up there. That that won't go with that well. Okay, and then we just go ahead and push it out. There we go. And let's take a look at this. This is important. Air Gun Fund made some very good points that I want to show the professor there that he's definitely right and people should know. There is the rounded side, okay? And there is the flat side. That should never go through the frame of your gun. What will happen, it will run this part here, the frame. So as you saw, I went from right to left on the, so that the flat side comes out, never through the body. Okay, and we'll reverse the process when we get back. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this out. So we take out the pump tube. Okay. All right, so I want to make, again, defer to someone who has more knowledge on this and experience is that I had a good exchange with Air Gun Fun, and he said that this thing needs to be 116, and he was correct. After having practical knowledge with this gun, you do not want 117, 118. It's too hard to operate. There's a little bit of strength you have to use to close the gun up, but you definitely want the right size O-ring. So 116 is great. It's from Storehouse. This is actually a Storehouse ring. I took off the original O-rings, this and the breech seal, and we'll get into that. But... So I have actually uh, new O-rings on here. I didn't need them, but I wanted to test these storehouses. So let's go ahead. Okay, so, but your gun's new. This looks like Excalibur. But what happens is mine was full of grime. It was just filthy. So you give it a good rub down. You scrub it off. Clean the top. Okay, and then you get your O-ring remover. And we're going to say this was the original seal. And we get under there. The nice thing about this O-ring remover, it doesn't threaten anything. It's easy on the seal. And then we get it off. Mine was filthy, the original one. I just replaced it to test. Like I said, this is actually a storehouse O-ring. Okay, and then you get in here and you get in the crevices. You get in there, clean that out, clean that out, get in those crevices. And then I did clean off the O-ring and saved it. And then I'll go ahead and put the storehouse back on here. Okay, now I know they say to use white grease on this. I'm gonna say please consider using the silicone. The RWS has done so well for me on different guns. I'm really a true believer in it now. So then just work that around. Okay, and then what we wanna do next, okay, we took care of that. We take our paper towels, there's two of them here. I would say please use two. These are easily available and easy to find at O'Reilly's. 
okay they're softer and more effective than traditional paper towels okay so then we get inside your pump tube your pump tube at least they well i'm gonna say they all are they're filthy now there's other problems that can be going on in your pump tube that didn't plague me so we corkscrew that in there very similar to rehabbing an 880 or a daisy you can get all the way to the back and get all the way where i saw all that grime and get it in there and you do that as many times as you need to and it's a little dark in there but i can tell you that mine was full of grime back there let's see if you can see in there at all sorry there you can see it. mine's clean okay you can see that much you don't see any grime okay also there is a intake hole there and whoop sorry don't need to get you in that tight all right so there's an intake hole there and it's about right here where my finger is and mine's nice and smooth good job china the chinese did a good job there in chinese beaming it's nice and smooth there's no burr there's many times a burr there i'm going to show you what happens if i did discover a burr what i would do this is called uh, master pro this is from the auto store and this is the green series the green series is very tame it's basically polishing paper now i know that other people like bravo were saying use uh wool steel wool this is i was told to use this and it gives you better tactile feel if there's a burr in there you get in there and lightly polish it away basically it doesn't threaten the tube and it's basically a glorified polishing paper but good for a small job like this mine was not necessary it's nice and smooth so i was very happy to see there was no problem in there okay but you do want to check for a burr there okay so now let's go ahead and put it back together and now we'll conclude this video of when you get your gun you clean it up i chose to go with the storehouse 116s and let's take a brief look at that real quick okay so the storehouse has a couple different kits this is one of their nicer ones okay and I was basically dared by Air Gun Fund to try to find good equipment, and I think this is one of them. So, if you look at it, it's beautiful. These, the, it's only eight bucks, and Storehouse is very serious about being competitive with other brands here. There's no flashing on these. Flashing meaning that they're, um, there's airs where they molded it together. They're beautiful. There's 14 of the 116s. There's a lot of P17 fans that would be happy just to know for eight bucks you get 14. Now, as far as the rest of these, I'm not sure if they're going to work in the gun, but we got the all-important pump head one. And I did save the original. I'm just on the pump head seal and the breech seal. We'll cover it in another video. I used uh, one out of here because this is the one that fits. So I'd use a combination one SAE standard seal and one metric seal. And so just one of those things. Together, both those kits are only 14 bucks, so that's a screaming deal. But anyway, 116. And this gun's shooting great. So I have a storehouse seal in here. We'll get into that later. And the one you saw me operating with is also a storehouse. And it's shooting great. So that's I thought people would be excited about that. The price is good. And they work. Okay, so let's get back to the basics here. About what a pro, like Air Gun Fun would say, is that with these pins, that flat side, you do not let that get through the body of your gun. Find the brown side, and now we reverse the order, and go ahead and put some FB10 on here. The FB10 is such a good, good lubricant for anti-grind. So put some of that. It's one wonderful dropper from the Hobby Lobby folks. Okay, and then we begin by now course it's going to be a struggle because it's going to be hard of course just because i'm on camera it always fate loves doing that to you but we want to put that in by hand to start and then we will lightly tap it in when we get it there we go but it's a kind of a fucker i mean honestly there is a there we go and okay so anyway of course it's going to do this was not because i'm doing it on camera of course can't, you can't have it you can't have it any other way so anyway so let's see here we're gonna go ahead and get it lined up here and that looks good all right see if i can get it in there there we go okay there we go there we go okay so i pushed it in by hand there we go almost basically by hand oh and i actually had to reshoot this a few times because i forgot to tell you make sure you you redo your tension and I'm just going to just kind of shadow this. Is that then? Okay, so we were turning it. Okay, now we got to get that in there and make sure 
that we turn it the other way. Now you turn it towards you. Turn it towards you and that's okay. Sorry folks. This is that's why another reason I don't want you to take it out. And just do that. I'm gonna tighten that up completely off camera, but make sure to do that. I had to reshoot this because I can't have you forgetting to do that. Okay, and then we will give it a light tap to make sure that that's flush. It's still sticking out a little bit from this side, from the flat side. Tap, 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 tap. And that's it. Okay, so that's it, folks. And I will continue to uh, tighten your tension screw right here. And you need to do that, too. Okay, well, thank you. Hopefully, this I think this was helpful. Remember, it's important to clean it. And the, I would stand by what I say. The operation of the gun is anywhere between one-fourth and one-third easier because I got all the grime and grease out of there. That was too much grime and too much grease. And the guys at the gun shop said, you, uh, I should consider using another lube. So anyway, so I will see you for the next one.